Hey everyone, this is the first video in a new series that I am starting, focusing on several different tools that we can use in our day-to-day -day trombone practice. So the first item we'll be looking at is the Snark Clip-On Tuner. You'll see this is different than a normal conventional tuner that would be either on your phone or you know an old-fashioned one that would just sit on your stand. This one has a clip, so it can clip onto our bell. So the snark tuner is something that's usually marketed towards guitarists, electric bass players, violinists, people that have like a neck on their instruments so this wouldn't get in the way of, of playing, but it can still be visible. But it works really well for trombone and trumpet. The difference between this and a more conventional tuner is that the snark goes off of the vibrations of the instrument rather than the vibrations in the air. So regardless of if you're in a practice room alone, or in a rehearsal room with 70 other people warming up for rehearsal, this will only read the notes that you are playing on your instrument. One thing to be careful of if you do decide to buy this tuner is that you should just get the regular one. They also have one that they label super tight, which has a little extra tension in the clip, which would of course help it hang on to a guitar or a bass better, especially if you're moving around, you're playing a live show. We don't want that for our trombone or our trumpet all that extra tension could potentially create. Here's the snark clipped on the bell of my Shire Symphonic Tenor. Uh, and you'll see very low profile and you're able to clip it right in your line of sight if you're looking straight down the slide. But it's still far enough away that you're not gonna accidentally hit it with your hand or anything like that. It won't cause any complications when you're playing. As I mentioned, the Tunnel Energy Tuner works off of the vibrations of our instrument not through the vibrations in the air. So I just wanted to demonstrate that real quick. So I'm gonna sing a B flat. You're gonna see that the snark tuner will not register the pitch, but tonal energy will. So now I have my snark tuner clipped onto my phone with tonal energy set on the page that can generate tones. I'm gonna turn this on to a B flat and you'll see now that the snark can feel the vibrations of the phone producing this pitch. It's going to register the note here. I want to list just a few pros and cons of this tuner for you. So our first pro is that it's really small and convenient. It doesn't take up much room in your case. It's, it clips on the bell so it's out of the way during your practice session. You don't have to worry about moving it on and off the stand. And you can just leave it on the bell and turn it on and off with this one button as you need. Second pro is that it has a really simple display. It just tells you the name of the pitch that you're playing and which side of sharp or flat you're on. And our final pro is that it has a really long battery life. You don't have to worry about these batteries dying very often. It uses just one of those circular watch batteries tucked inside here. And I would say on average it can last you about a year. Of course, that all depends on usage. So if you don't use it very much, it could last longer. If you use it a lot, it might die a lot sooner. A few cons. Um, one of the downsides of all the simplicity is that there are no extra features. So if you uh, really like having drones and metronome and analysis all in one thing, you might just want to stick with tonal energy. But if you want to put the phone away for a practice session, this is a really great option to sort of unplug, not deal with any of the distractions associated with our phone. And our final con is that this only reads in naturals and sharps. If you saw earlier when I played that B flat on my phone, this read it as an A sharp. For most of us, that's not an issue, but for younger students that haven't learned enharmonic spellings yet, it can be problematic. I've tried it with some 6th and 7th grade students, and they do get a confused look on their face when they go to play an E flat and the tuner says D sharp. That's all I have for you today. If you want to check out the Snark Tuner further, you'll find an Amazon link in the description below where you can read more specifications and read other people's reviews. Uh, however, if you do wish to purchase one, I would highly encourage you to find a small or medium-sized business to order from online or in person. Um, we always want to support our local music shops when possible. Thanks for watching.